Is this not a jam at this one? Eh? Who is after you? Ichi, nobody is after me. I was just coming to meet you. What happened? I hope all is well. Speak, speak. Ichi, all is not well. Ichi, I was just coming from your house now. Your family members want to kill each other now. You have to hurry home now. What? Again? Is it not what we're just talking? Okay. My son, you are so well. Oh. <laughs> See what you have caught. Hey, Papa. Hey, Papa. stand up. Now stand up, please. I'm begging you! Eh? I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for what happened to Nai Bikonu. I wouldn't want people to come here and see your best floor. Because I'm begging you. It will even be better that the whole villagers will come and see how you people push a chair like me to the floor. I'm not going to stand up here hmm. until you bring all the requirements. <laughs> One white goat, two white cocks, <laughs> Three tubers of yam. Hey! And two kegs of palm wine. Hmm? Papa! If I will stand up here. You want to open poultry? It looks like yeah. you want to open supermarket. Too. They are annoying part of it. Okay. It's that one of you could give it reasonable explanation for this childish act of yours. Your Majesty. The prince will be with you shortly. Why do you make it a point to disgrace the name of this family every day? Sorry, eh? Because that is why you don't have hairs here. No single hair. Thank you! Shame Thank you. you! I like I it more and more like you. this! Shame on you! Shame on you! Ah! Eh? Shame. Hold it there right now! Hold it! Yes, I'm talking to you! Ashamed of what exactly I want to ask you? Ashamed of what? You are doing your baby like this and you're asking me a question. What question is that? Will someone be ashamed of fighting an evil woman and an evil child in our own house? No, I'm asking you! Wait, Tell me! Is it me? You are calling an evil woman. You, are, uh, you, you have seen it. You, oh, you think I don't know? Hey, I was say, I say, I say. You think I don't know? I know that you shamed him with your dark powers. And you also make him to take responsibility of this black witch standing here. Wait, 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 wait. Chalo, chalo, chalo. Did I hear you well? You heard me loud and very clear. Yes. Oh, you think I am afraid of you? Oh, you think I'm afraid of these eyes? You think you can share me with them? You have just told a lie. Oh, I say, you have told a black fat white lie. That is what you have just said. Shalom. I am waiting for you. I am waiting for you. I am waiting for you. Yes? I, I, I'm sure you are ready to carry the market you bought for yourself. And I'm very sure your daughter has the goods to supply. Hey, come on, run! I told them. I know what 
you can do? Nonsense. Yes. Anna bag it. Anna is this one? She keeps running her mouth up and down. But you have now. Let her come. <laughs> I never knew that woman can run like that. Too. She could win gold in Olympic if she contests. If you go say, what you not say now? Now, now, Bora. Come, 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 come. What you not say now, Bora? A man no ever rara. Mara can rara. I trust you. In my previous life, I'm a mad yarati. I know what you can. Okay, Mero. I'm a me. One idea. Rubbish. Idiot. How beer can do this ass? Just divide it as spirit, body and soul. Uli. Can we go the first example? Next time, eh? Peji ki ge me ha. Peji. Who is the by the way? My daughter. You wouldn't want to know. Please uh, go and keep the ass. I, I I'm sure by now they must have learned their lessons. Yes. Okay. Keep which ass? Mama, I am not keeping any ass. For the sake of your father, go and keep it. I will not try it. I say You won't understand. I am waiting for them. Mama, just relax here. If we give them chance, they will chance us. I'm telling you. They will not come back to relax. You see, Ngozi, Ngozi is not coming back to this house now. I know her. I don't want to worry, Mama. If you don't have the energy, back here on side. Hey, Jim, you cover up. If I let him, it will manage to do it. I trust you. 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 Dad, see, I have to go now. It's 9 a.m. already. I have to leave. Don't be stupid, Anthony. Is that all you have to say? Dad, I don't understand the reason for this argument this morning. What do you want me to say? What else do you want me to say? You don't understand? Now tell me. What is stopping you from proposing marriage to her? Is she not beautiful enough? I mean, why have you not made your intention known to her? That my intentions towards her has no color, no size, no height of any marriage at all. You are very stupid to say that, Anthony. Huh? Is she not beautiful enough? So what have you been doing all this while? Oh. So she's only good at warming your bed, right? Dad, come on. She's been the one jumping on my bed at will. Did you just say that? Let's see. I have to go now. I will see you when I come back, okay? Anthony! Step an inch close to that door. Then I will make you understand why they call me Otegulago. Let's go. Let's go where? You don't know, you don't know that much, Jack Papali. Mama, I've checked now. I'm, I'm, I'm sure she did not follow us to this place. How can let's she be chasing go. us to this place of Bonyala? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Take the lead now. Who? You. Me or you? You, yeah. you are younger than me. Let's go. No, Mama, you are my mother. I take the lead. You, you are the elder. Wait. Mama. You are saying wait. I ask you to check. You are saying wait. What are you waiting for? Hey, Mama. Somebody is coming. Who is that? I don't know. Let me check. Check, check. Let me check, check if she's the one. I told you to check. It's him. I'm checking. Hey, Mama. She's not the one. Move this Simba. I should move. I'm moving now. You're jumping. You're jumping. Come, let's go. Let's go. Come, follow Mama, me. You are not afraid. Follow me, Roger. What are you doing? Ah. Let's go. Hey! No! No! Hey! 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 I knew it! Hey! Hey! What is that? Hey! Hey! Mama! What is that? 
Um, you must be very, you're a very stupid girl. Nothing, no, it's insects. It's, it's, it's insects. <laughs> that is why you want to let my heart skip out of my body. Sorry. What is wrong with you? Sorry. What is sorry? sorry. Eh? I told you, you refused. <laughs> speak very well, speak very well. Look at my mother. <laughs> Mama, they are very funny. Do you know that? When, when someone sees you, the way you fight and talk to people in here, people, they will think that you, you, you are the strongest. They won't even know that. Small girl, just small girl like the bitch can even frighten you. See how scared you, you are. You are very, very stupid. Huh? You are a very stupid girl. Me? I don't blame you. Who told you I'm afraid of small girl? I have a common. A small girl like you pursued your mother here. See of you to go and fight. You're talking this nonsense. Okay? Me? Yes, you. She can fight. Ha! Mama Biko, but don't we Don't just include me. How do you expect me to go and fight somebody with axe? Yeah. With an axe? Obabu person now, run your race, I'll run my race. Ha! Huh? You'll be putting it's me into a problem. Eh? Come. I should come. Don't come, stay there. Mama, I'm not coming. But run your race, I'll run my race. You may know. Is it not personal? It's personal. Obabu personal, Mama. Obankabu personal. Ah, look at what you've made me go through. I mean, I'm hiding. I cannot even go to my father's house. In peace. Mama! I'm good. Mama, no, no, wait for me. Mama, Mama, to be quiet. She's coming. Hey! Mama, so you can fear. I'm not fear. I thought she was coming too. Let's go. No, don't worry. I will wait for some time before I go. Hey! Mm -hmm. You have to wait. I need to wait. Yeah, let's go, let's go. She's not coming, let's go. Uh. Anthony, my son, you will. I can assure you that you will. Look, I have promised Ukadike, and I am not the man that goes back on his words. Father, those words I will give him without me in the picture, and I will not allow them to make me lose weight. Anthony, in case you've forgotten, let me remind you, I am the king and my word is law. You are going to marry Tolia. There's nothing you can do about it. Father, with all due respect, I will disappoint you in this. I am not going to marry Tonya. Yes, I would not marry her. I, I cannot do that just to just to fulfill your agreement with her father, Okadike. Father, I cannot do that. This is my life. I cannot trade my life for anything. Not even to strengthen the family alliance of the Okadikes. Anthony, but will you shut up? I said shut up! How dare you? Look, I am the king of kings in this state. I am a first class king! In Nigeria, nobody, nobody ridicules me. Not even you. Now you better get prepared to marry Tonya. If not, you will see the other side of me as the king, the great king that I am. Ah, I'm not going to be 
This one, you and your daughter are walking in fear. I hope all is well. You are very stupid. You are very, very stupid. Who is walking in fear? And by the way, what is your business? We walk the way we choose to walk. What's your business? I know, Pama. The way you and your daughter are walking is very suspicious. Suspicious, kill you again. Suspicious, I swear, Ganya. I know, Pama. Yeah? They are coming from our compound. Papa? Did you buy any new see maybe she around that area? I saw her in the front of your compound. It's a big ass. But wait, to is she the one you are your daughter afraid of? Yes. You are mad. You must be very Get stupid. Out. Come on, let this person in jail. No, no, no. Let him wait for me. Let him wait for me in jail. You are busy. You are Mama, 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 wait for me. Don't worry. Leave him. Let's go. We should go. Yes, let's go. I'm off here. Let's go. Eh? Idiot. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. As we are going, be looking, be looking. Yeah. Because I'm not, you'll be the first person to take off. Let's go. Huh? Let's go, Let's go. Hey! Mama, come now, come back. Let's come. take, let's take on what to do. What are you saying? Is that not maybe she? That is not her. Let's go. Okay. Hey, I thought you are Abu and Why? Okay, why you are know. looking scared? What kind of daughter is this? Thank God I ran. What could I have told my ancestor had that axe landed on my head? That I died because of goats and cock. Tufiawa. Tufiawa. Aro. I hope my brother is safe wherever he is now. Boweto. Where did she get all those guards from? I wonder if they gave me the wrong child from the hospital. Mama. Alpha, did you see her? Mama, she's still there, standing like a security guard. Hey! She's not willing to leave them. It means we are not going into my father's house. That, that girl before. is trying me, Amaka. That girl is trying me. I will deal with her. Huh? Yeah, I will, I will grind her. I will scatter her. I will blow. Mama, 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 mama. Pico, pico, pico. Calm down. Calm down, Pico. We've been running for a few hours here because of Nebechi. And now you are here talking of what you do to her. Are you not even afraid? Since you know you do something to her, why didn't you do it all this while and save us from this drama and, and disgrace and stress of running around the village? Mama, I'm tired. You have to do something, Pico. Amaka, yeah. Mama? Come on, let me tell you something. Oh, yes. Yeah. You see, eh? You must still oh! talk like an idiot. Oh, Mama, my ear. Yes. Mama, my ear. You must still talk like an idiot. It is bad enough that you are soft as an agony. Yes. You must still be stupid as well. Uh, Mama, do you have to drag my ear? I will continue to drag it. I will drag it from now till the end of the world. Mama, my ear is even paining me. It has not started because I will repeat it around two. I don't want fear. What is it? Mm. Mama, but it's not my fault. I'm not the problem here. It's Nebechi. Yeah. Uh, you have to know what to do to Nebechi and make my father stand up from that ground. Though. Me, I'm tired. Though. Mm. Your father? Is it, is it even your fault? It's my fault. Uh -huh. It is my fault. Okay, no, no it's problem. Not fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Don't worry. <laughs> You're talking about your father, okay? Your father, okay? Let him stay there. From now to whenever he thinks he wants to stand up from there, that is his business. It has nothing to do with me. Huh? Mama? Yes? Ha! Huh? 
have to know what to do to my father to make him stand up from there. Don't you hear what he said? He said he's not going to live there until you meet his requirements. Amaka, is your father a deity? Mban, I'm asking you. Is your father a deity that I must appease? Answer me! Is he a deity that I must buy goats? I must buy what again? Oil. I must buy what? Cock. Cock. And what again? Unzu. Um, Unzu and uh, pam, pam wine. No fear. He will sleep there forever. Mama. What my, is it? My father is an Ichio. He's an Ichio. And you know what that means? Go and beg him to stand up. Amaka, there's something you don't know. You see that time that Nebeshi took that axe, eh? Your father, fium, he has left. He will never, he will never remain there. Your father is a weakling. He will never remain there. He's as soft, he's even worse off than you. Yes. Yes, than you. Like father, like daughter. Hey, no fear. She gonna meet him. He wants to stand up. Or he doesn't want to stand up. Let him remain there. Mama. He's looking for goat and crayfish and whatever to eat. Let him sleep. Let me ask you something. Mm. Don't be offended. No. Why do you like trouble? You ask me why I like trouble. I will not answer you. Nah. What is the problem? You, 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 you look worried. What happened? Where's my brother? He has gone. And your daughter? She's outside the gate. You people will hear from me. No, I hear from you. If there are people that will hear from you, there should be Ngozi and her foolish daughter. Not, not me and my own daughter. And I... Too much water. Trouble no they finish you. Too much trouble. So no water. What can he find? Trouble no they finish you. What can I for join you? So no water. Are you moody bear? You pop a little bit no canina. Ah ah ah. You don't know if you're capable. If you're capable, you pop a little bit no canina. What name? You don't know. What can you be bad? Trouble no they finish you. Trouble no they finish you. I get a poor woman. Trouble no they finish you. Trouble no they finish you. I get a poor woman. Hey, Jima. You pop a little bit no canina. You pop a little bit no canina. You don't know if you're capable. If you're capable, you pop a little bit no canina. You pop a little bit no canina. Has hot water. If you go back, so every day. Kata kata, oh oh. When you're the other two, they can't get your bugle. Has hot water. So I got the nun on a tapis here. So be careful if I put when me. Your pen so dark, go boy. Trouble no they finish you. So boy, I dey go wanna go. Um, Prince Anthony, I can't remember seeing you like this because I know you had the way of dealing with issues like this. Exactly, that's because I can't grasp the rationale of my father's will to assert his lordship over me. Yes, and this is no longer funny. Oh. Another, he, he he bottled me to a corner for a long time. I mean, it's no, it's no longer funny. Oh, I see. Marine Tonya here is obviously not the issue. Your father, the king, and his authoritative stance is... I, I, exactly. Exactly. I, I mean, I, I, why would he want to treat me like a child? Huh? Why would he? Oh. I couldn't just concentrate at the office today because of this. Uh, my friend, I truly understand how you feel. But you have to calm down so that you can win him over this. I cannot calm down. If you truly understand, you cannot tell me to calm down. Oh no. You're welcome. Thank you very much. So, how did it go? Your Majesty, it was really a tough one. Well, I, I expected that. Uh, 
I knew it was not going to be a smooth ride all the way. Yes. However, um, what was the outcome? Uh, were you able to convince them? Yes, Your Majesty. Like I said, it was really a tough one. But I was able to convince them. But on the condition that he will sign a treaty that on no account will he sideline them in the future ever again. Fair enough. You see, me, I am willing to do anything and everything for the sake of the royal household and the entire kingdom. Right? Um, I think what you need to do now is to invite their representative so that we can start the process immediately. Right? Oh, but I was on a one. <laughs> what a kingdom. <laughs> I can see that the, the blood of your late father runs in your veins. <laughs> and wherever he is, we will be proud of what you are doing right now. Ah, that's all. Oh, no. Yes. Anyway, thanks for the kind words. Yes. You see, there are three virtues that I uphold dearly. And these are peace, unity, and inclusiveness. They are very high standards that I have set for myself, and I will maintain them at any cost. <laughs> well, this reminds me of the day you ascended the throne of your fathers, and the speech you made, and every other thing that followed on that day. Hi, are you going out already? What does it look like? But you did not touch the food I served you. Which food? Your food. Oh no. <laughs> so you have just proven that uh, your brain is still very active. After so many years, oh, yes. as it was back in those days. <laughs> you can say that again, <laughs> This is the same old Alicia Mecca that you know. Age has nothing to do with the ability of one remembering things. <laughs> Well, um, all you've just remembered is a proven testimony that uh, I should uphold my principles. I should not back down on them. So, all that needs to be done have to be done before the offer. Exactly, Igwe. This will offer us an undivided attention in the preparation of this offer. And you see, this is a good news of my book. Now, talking about the offer, what about the crown prince? What about him? Igwe, you know that your son cannot celebrate two offer as a single man. After his enthronement as a crown prince, he has to choose a bride whom he must present before the elders, the council of elders, rather, within four months before the fall. Oh no, this is actually a big problem for me. I've been having a running battle with my son, the prince, for almost a year now because of this issue. He keeps rejecting all my choices of women for him. I mean, it appears his standards are way too high. Igwe, it is not your duty to choose a bride for the prince. Because even your father, the late king, abolished the tradition that the king should not choose a bride for the crown prince. You should allow the prince to choose a bride for himself. 
no kuni. This is not a question of tradition. I know my son very well. He is very hardworking. He is a wise young man. But when it comes to the issue of women, he lacks the capability to choose the right one. Because the kind of woman he needs is someone who can complement this, uh, his uh, good qualities. Okay? So I, I have um, gone through a whole lot of trouble trying to get a woman that is perfect to complement his good qualities. And I think the one he's dating right now is a perfect one to play that role. You mean he's seen one already? Of course. He's seen one. Um, she's the daughter of the secretary to the state government. You know, he has gotten the ticket for the next um, governorship election. is to be our next governor. I see. Then why the delay? <laughs> you should go ahead and act fast to avoid stories that touch. That's what you are. If you get well, it's so good every day. Are you not the one I've been calling since? I mean, you blind for a year? Yeah, ne bitch. Please, I am not cut out for your troubles this month. Do you hear me? Please, just leave me alone. Oh, you are not cut out for my own sobu this morning. Yeah, pugaka. Hmm, this is what I No problem. Yeah. What was that charade you did at the market for? It all depends on what you refer as charade. Do you know what? I would advise you to go to that market and sort yourself out with those market people, and not me. You look at even putting you at also everywhere. Eh? What day? Picon, I'll be my own source of the camera. One name, Picon. 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 Like I said, I was actually going to your house before I met you here. Cello, Cello. Wait. Was this the reason you displayed like a mad person then? Me, mad person. Both of us know who the mad and crazy one is. Mama give me no give onyala, onyala yakwa. Because what is it again? Is it not too early to make troubles? I what is it this time? I will not repeat myself. Chingwe, I will not repeat myself. Who cut my plantain this morning? Your plantain? You heard me. <laughs> Point of correction, my dear co-wife. That plantain belongs to everyone in this family. And if you must know, I needed to prepare plantain porridge for my husband. So I cut it. You can as well take from the bunch if you care. Thunder will fire you dear. Thunder fire you, dear Chingwe. Mbazi. After the disgrace you and your prodigal daughter gave to me yesterday, you still have the guts to go and cut my plantain. And you have the nerves to ask me to take from the bunch. Yes. Because that plantain belongs to everyone. Not only you. Excuse me. I should excuse you. I should excuse you. Okay? Mbazi, excuse me. If you know what is good for you, Chingwe, go to the market and buy that same plantain and come and replace it. Says who? Me, of course. The only legitimate wife in this house. <laughs> oh, boy, my brother. I understand your anger. Eh? But please forgive me. Eh? Don't make it look as if I planned it. At least you cannot see what your brother is going through in that house. 
Ibe, my brother. It is not as if you planned it. I know you did not plan it. But thinking that an Ichi like me will run the way I did like a child in a broad daylight saddens me. Uh -uh. It saddens me, Ichi Ibe. What if that axe has landed on my head? Eh? What just if? But the most important is it did not. <sighs> eh? And please, Okoha, my brother, all I need now is how to stop those madness before it will take me to my early grave. What can I want to What can I want What else can we do? The worst is that they cannot listen to anybody. Hmm? Exactly my point. Exactly my point, my brother. But we need to do something regardless. Biko. You are right, my brother. After all, Eji and Babu are wrong. Oh. Mm, we have to do something. Okay. We will do something. Biko, by the way, where are your wives? They were in the house when I left the house. Ah. Yes. Okay. Let us go to your house. from the market. Hey! Why can't you speak now? Huh? My wife, we really want to know where all these problems is coming from. So that we can solve it and put an end to this. Nayokwa, there's no need asking all these questions. We all know that Ngozi is the problem here. She's the only one that touts and pick up fights with me at every opportunity. Thereby creating the enmity between my daughter and her daughter. So you people should ask her what her problem is. Nenia Johnny. Ngozi, you heard what uh, your co-wife said. What do you have to say? Say what exactly? What do you want me to say? You people made me sit down here to listen to this thing with all the nonsense coming from my mouth. Okay? Ngozi, my wife, calm down. We only want to find solution to all these problems oh. so that peace can reign. That's not peace. Peace is Where? Come. Oh, excuse me. Which peace are you even talking about? Is it the one that owns that chemist shop at the market square? Or the crippled one at the next village? Listen. Let me tell everyone sitting down here right now. Eh? Hey. Not until this woman and her child leave this house. There's nothing like peace. Mama! Hey! Mama now! We look quiet. Shut up! You see, Mama now. What are you Mama. You see, Mama, what are you shouting at? We don't do this at first. Stop it. Get your side. I'm not here. Now, Mama, you, Mama, you, you, you have seen it now. Oh, you have seen what the problem is already. You forgot here. You seen it. <laughs> Fighting cannot solve this situation. If not, quarreling cannot solve it for you. 
Give a shame on you! Shame! Useless man! How many months? Just few months into our marriage, you cannot take care of me. If I go and ask your mates what they do to take care of their wives, all you do is come back to the house with stories every day. You are just a useless man. Ibe, you are so useless. Useless man! Shame on you! Ibe, where are you going to? Ibe, where are you going to? Come back here, shameless man! Shame! Shame! It's only a useless man that fights and run away. Come back and meet your wife! You come back and meet me here. I don't even know how I ended up with this kind of a good for nothing man. Rubbish! You come back! You want me to die of hunger? Did I beg you to marry me? Did I beg you to marry me? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't see you. I'm sorry. No problem. It's fine. But if, if I may ask, why are you always lost in thought anytime you're walking on the road? What is it? Sorry? I don't understand. Okay. The other day I saw you when a bicycle knocked you down because you were not looking. And now this. What is eating you up? What is it? Please, I don't know what you're talking about. Please, uh, excuse me. Sometimes, you might find a brother's shoulder in a total stranger to lean on. My shop is down the road. Free free. Just come, let's talk. If, if you don't mind. I have heard the story you just said to me and I feel deeply sorry about your situations but why would bad financial issues make a handsome and prospective man like you go through all this? People go through all this and still stand strong. Yeah, I know. But but the pressure from my people has become unbearable for me to handle. And the place I work, they are here to reinstate me or pay me what I'm due. I understand. I understand you perfectly, trust me. But what if the bicycle that hit you was a car and gave you a big injury? What are you going to do? Is it going to solve your problems or compound it? I thought as much. Do you okay? You will be fine. You just have to come there. I live in this compound as well. You're free to visit me anytime you want. Thank you very much. I appreciate. You're always welcome. So, um, what can I offer you? <laughs> Thank you, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. But I hope you came back with good news. Is that supposed to be a welcome? Do you deserve a welcome? No, Ibe, answer me. Do you deserve a welcome? The money. Ngozi, please, I don't have the time this afternoon. Please, I don't have the time. I don't have the time. Ibe, bring the money. Give me money, oh! Give me money! I've been hungry since money! Give me money! Ngozi, leave the way, let me pass. You're not entering this house. Ngozi, leave the way, let me pass. Ibe, this house will not con- Ibe! Ibe, this house will not contain both of us today. What is wrong with you now? Ngozi, what's, what's all this? Give me money. I did not beg you to come and marry me. Okay. You cannot carry me all the way from my father's house and come and be maltreating me and be suffering me! Okay, Give me, me money. Eat me up now. Okay. Eat me up. 
What's the meaning of all this now? Ngozi, let me go. Let me go. Ibe, Ibe, you are beating me up. Ibe is beating me up. Ibe is beating me up. So tell me, how did it go with the railway corporation? Any luck? Nope. They denied me audience as usual. Hmm. Too bad. You know, that is how it has been for over four months now. And I'm forced to live with it. Hmm. That is bad. Yeah, I've been meaning to ask. Are you from this village? No, I'm from the neighboring village. But I live close to the boundary. So my house is very close to this place. That reminds me. What about your parents and your siblings? You don't seem to talk about them at all. My parents are late. What? Yes. They died in an automotive accident with my only brother two years ago. It's just me. So sorry. Please accept my heartfelt sympathy. It's fine. Thank you. But you don't look like someone that has lost her family. How do you manage to be this strong? Yeah, you're right. Mm. I've gone past it. Life goes on. Oh. I try to pick the pieces of my life and move on. But my uncle has been so supportive. Okay. But still, I still have to be strong. True. And, you know, move on with my life. And that is what I want you to do with your life. As you can see, I'm better than yesterday. Mm. I can see. Isn't it? Obviously. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm happy that you're smiling today. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. I have to stop here. Okay. You know I left my shop open. Yes, that's true. Uh, you've really tried. Thank you for everything, my good friend. I really appreciate it. You're always welcome. <laughs> I think you have to go now. It's yes. getting dark. Yes, yes, yes. I'll check up on you anytime soon. Okay? Alright, thank yeah. you. Bye. Bye-bye. Yay! 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 Hey, 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 I am I am still trying to understand why you called me out here by this hour of the night. What is it now? Eh? But I have said everything now, haven't I? You have said nothing. As far as I'm concerned, you have said absolutely nothing. So you want me to believe that you brought me all the way from my father's house and just within how many months of marriage you can no longer perform your duties and take care of me as you used to do and you want me to understand that eh you just said as i used to that means i was doing my job as a husband hmm. not until i was unceremoniously dismissed from my workplace and so not until I was ceremoniously dismissed from my workplace all the time. And so? So I should live in the past and die of hunger. Is that what you're saying? Ngozi, all I'm saying is that you should be patient. Everything will be fine. See, all I need from you now is you should support at this difficult time. Okay, take for example now. For about four months now, Four months, you have refused me to touch you. 
How are we supposed to stay together, live together as a couple? <laughs> hey, Ibe. Now I see the main reason behind this meeting. Ibe, you are shameless. You are very shameless. Wait to. So you will shamelessly make love to me on an empty stomach. Eh? Ha! See, let me tell you something. You will not have the right to touch me until you start performing your duties as the man of the house. Good night. Where's my food? There is no food. Ngozi, your husband is not feeling fine. I went out there to get some drugs. Coming back now, you are eating the remaining food in the house. How do you expect me to take my drugs without eating? Ibe, your wife has not eaten since how many years now? And you expect me to leave the remaining food in the house for you simply because you want to take medication. Only a selfish and a foolish man will think like that. Because what's wrong with you now? What's wrong with you? Okay, how do you expect me to, to, to take these drugs now? Ah. What am I going to do now? The chemist warned that I should eat well before taking the pills. But how do I find something to eat now? I don't have any money on me. And my brother is not yet back since he traveled. I can't go borrowing either because I'm yet to pay back the ones I borrowed from people. I don't have money so it could be worse if the sickness is deep into my body. I think I have to go. What is wrong? Why are you like this? What's going on? I... I... Oh, ju just hold on. Let me take you inside. Okay? Just come. Now that you've taken the drugs, I think you need to lie down and rest. That is, if you can. Thank you, but I need to leave now. My... Nothing will happen to you. Just rest. You can leave when you're much better. Come on, you don't bite. It's okay. Is that a yes? Okay, let me take this thing off. Now. Much better. Mm. Uh, please, uh, what's it by the time now? Oh, it should be past one o'clock. What? Please, I, 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 I want to start going now. Are you so sure? sure? Yes, yes. I have to go now. Are you sure? Yes, yes. But 
Don't you think you need to rest a little? No, I'm better now. I need to go now. Uh, okay, uh, give me see your... Okay, uh, thank you. I know it's hard for you to say or admit it, but I know what is going on. I saw what happened earlier today. But please, accept this little token for me. And I'll be very angry if you don't accept it. Why, why, why are you giving me all this? See, it feels awkward receiving things from you. I supposed to be the one giving to you. There is no law that said you must give me. Okay? Just accept it. Okay, fine. You can pay me back anytime you you are fit to do so. Please, just accept it. Thank you. You're welcome. Shall we? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Um, okay, let me just excuse me. Please, my friend, please do, do help me. Do this for me. I know you are the only one that I can run to to do this for me right now. Please. Ibe, how did you expect me to walk this motorcycle without any part payment from it? Ibe, you are asking too much and you know it. This is too much. See, I don't have enough money. That's why I'm asking you to do this for me. See, immediately I start working, I'll come and pay you immediately. I promise you that. You know, the only money I have right now, I want to use it to fuel the motorcycle so I can start working. Please. Does it occur to you that I need to buy some engine spare parts so I can work the motorcycle very well? Yes, I know, but you know, I don't have enough money. I don't have money with me. That's why I'm, I'm begging you to do this for me. Please. It's not easy for me. It's not easy for me and my wife. It's even difficult for us to even eat these days. I'm telling you. Please, my friend, help me. Ibe, the truth is this. I am trying to help you. But this is too much. This is too much. Ah, what is too much? Please, I'm begging you now. Okay, would you uh, would rather allow me and my wife to die of hunger? Or would you like it when you hear that I, 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 I was caught stealing? Would you like it? That's why I'm begging you to help me. <sighs> See, my, my elder brother traveled to Ogun myself for over six months now. I he's here to come back. You are the only one I have right now that can help me. That's what I'm begging you. Help me, please. It's okay. You can bring the motorcycle. But we will have a concrete agreement on how you are going to pay me if I repair this motorcycle. Of course, you don't have any problem. You don't have any... I will pay you immediately. Should I go and bring it now? No, no, not today. As you can see, I have, I have work I'm doing here now. Bring it tomorrow, bring it tomorrow so I can concentrate on this one. <laughs> Thank you very much. But Thank agreement much. is agreement. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll bring it first thing tomorrow, man. No problem. I'll, I'll, I'll be here. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's okay. It's Thank okay. you very it's much. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Because I have good news for you. It better be good news. If not, you'll regret disturbing me with it if it's not. Hey, come on. See, don't worry. This one will interest you. The mechanic has agreed to repair my motorcycle for me on credit. <laughs> Is that the good news? Come on, Ngozi. So I can use it to make money for us now. Mm. For your information. I've sold the motorcycle to those people that deal on scrap. Ngozi! I don't condemn. Ngozi, it's a, it's, a, it's a lie! It's a lie! Ngozi! Ngozi! Ngozi, you, you, you did what? Ngozi! What did you do? Ngozi, you did what? Ngozi, why? What, what have you done? Why are you shouting over a grand grand motorcycle? Motorcycle that I had to beg, I don't condemn, I don't condemn people. I, I pleaded with them. They said the thing doesn't even have use. Ungozi, 
That's our only potential source of livelihood. God forbid. Why didn't you ask me first, Ngozi? Why? God forbid. For a Guragura motorcycle to be my only source of livelihood. God forbid. Please tell me, who did you sell the motorcycle to so that I can go, I can go and re recover it back? Recover what? Ah, 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 I beg. Don't even go there. Recover what? <laughs> I said I will go and recover the motorcycle. Ungozi! How about the money? Money that I have to already. Hey! Ungozi! Ungozi, you have killed me! Ungozi, why? Even why? Even why? Why are you punishing me? Even why? Hey! Ungozi! Hey! Hey! Ungozi! You have killed me! Hmm. <laughs> you... This bed is so so soft. Come on, Anya. What are you doing? What just happened? Did we? You grabbed me. You made sexual advances on me. Well, I, I tried to stop you. But you, you, you should have stopped me. This shouldn't have happened. You know, I was drunk. I know you were drunk. But behind that drunkenness lies a man that needs sexual satisfaction and care. I lost my virginity on the process. And look, I have fallen in love with you. Yes. You're still a virgin? I was a virgin a few hours ago. Not anymore. Look, Ray. I love you. Yes, I do. No man has made me feel the way you made me feel. Please. What exactly is the problem? Am I not beautiful enough? What have I done? How on earth did I end up sleeping with Chen Wei? Oh, God. I know my wife has not been the best, but that is not enough reason to cheat on her. That is all my fault. I should have told Chen Wei that I am married. This wouldn't have happened if I had opened up to her. How will I break the news to her now? How will I tell her that I am married without hurting her feelings? That girl has been so nice to me and deserves better. My husband! <laughs> My handsome husband! <laughs> you look good! On? Welcome. My husband, you are welcome. Hope you did not stress today. Oh. Come and sit down. Sit like a king. My king. Ah! You are welcome, my husband. <laughs> my handsome husband. Ngozi, what's happening? Uh uh. My husband. I know my husband again. Why are you sounding as if it's wrong for me to welcome my husband? Yes, I know, but this. I. I this. Come on. My husband, don't worry. I made your favorite. Really? Yes. And that will not be all. Because we still have other things to do in the bedroom. You know, it's been a while. Eh? <laughs> My husband, you're too handsome. <laughs> Ngozi, tell me what is happening. Is this a dream? It's not a dream. My husband, relax. 
Let me show you something. Relaxo. Ah! You are handsome. Oh God, I have eyes. <laughs> Open, open, open. <laughs> wow! Thank God! Thank God! Thank God! Thank God for this! Yes, so. Finally! You mean Mr. Johnson and Chihuahua were here this today? Yes, so. Yes, so. My husband, they came and they were apologizing. They said they are very sorry for all that happened, the waste of time, all that they have put you through. Eh? They said they were going to pay all that is due, compensate you and reinstate you into the company. Oh, thank you, Lord. They even, thank you. They even said you should go to their house tomorrow morning. Thank you, Father. Yes, sir. Thank you for answering my prayers. Amen. You know what? Someone once told me that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I can see the light. No wonder the sudden change in my targets of wife. Yes. Come on, my husband. Eh? All that is in the past now. You know I love you. I love you so much. Uh, you love me yes. because money is now talking. My husband. Do, do, do you know what you have made me to go through? I am sorry. I am sorry, my dear husband. Um, um, I promise to make it up to you. Well, it's okay. It's okay. You know, and, and everything that matters to me right now is that I have my wife, my life, and my family back to me again. Yes, so. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you, my husband. Ah! Sorry yeah. for all the stress. Come, 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 come. I'm so, I'm so let, excited. Let me save you. Yeah. Let me go. 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 Ibe, why? Why didn't you tell me? Believe me, Chinwe. I don't know how or why I didn't tell you. It was never my intention to cheat on my wife or to take advantage of your innocence and your benevolence towards me. But I was drunk that day. I was drunk. I didn't know what happened. Everything happened all of a sudden. Believe me. That's why I, I stayed away from you all this while. Hibe, what was my offense? What wrong did I do to you other than to love and care for you? All these things wouldn't have happened if you have told me from the onset. No. Oh, you choose to deceive me. You may look me in the face and tell me if I deserve this. Do I truly deserve this? No, Chinwe, you don't. I'm so sorry for being a coward. I know I should have told you. You don't deserve this for, for your good heart. I'm so ashamed. I'm so ashamed for... I'm pregnant. What? Treat me. Chewie? You're what? My husband, my husband. Oh. I hope there is no problem, my husband. I didn't even know you were back. Um, hope all is okay. Everything is fine. Just that I had a very rough day at work today. I'm just stressed out. I understand, my husband. In that case, you just go in and take your bath. I have something very important to cheer you up. What is it? 
Oh, well, you are going to be a father very soon. No. Ngozi, you are pregnant. Ngozi, you are pregnant. Ngozi, you are pregnant. Yes. Come on, come on, come on. Give me a hug. I love you so much. You are pregnant. Yes. Don't worry, I'm going to surprise you. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. I know it is my fault for what happened between me and Chinwe, but Ngozi was part of it too. In fact, I probably wouldn't have met Chinwe if she was a good and supportive wife when things were very bad. Chinwe provided that and more. She even fell in love with me when she knew I had nothing to offer, but what should I do? How best should I handle the situation without further hurting her? She was there when the chiefs were down and deserves to be around now that I have made a great comeback. I think I have to take a quick action before it is too. What? I hope this is a joke. I wish I am, but it is not. Then you must be out of your mind. Ibi, I said you must be out of your mind. So this is what you have been doing behind me. Ibi, you have been cheating on me. I am sorry I did, but I'm only trying to explain to you how it all happened. It's not as if I planned to, but, but you... Hey, you were drunk. You were drunk when you were doing it. That is what you're trying to tell me. So all these stories you have been telling me is to make me feel guilty and blame me for what you did. Then justify your own actions, right? No, I was only trying to explain to you how it all started. <laughs> I know I was at fault as well. Ibe, look, let me tell you. It is bad enough that you cheated on me. But bringing your mistress into this house is over my dead body. You better find a way to settle her wherever she is. Because I will not share this house with another woman. Rubbish! I know it's not going to be easy. But I have to do what is right this time. Chinwe, we have a baby in this house as my wife. This is 26 years I've been living in hell. From one problem to another. For 26 whole years. Huh? Hi. Already, 
Sure. Sure, sure. I'll be there. I'll come in. As you can see. <laughs> Obviously, you're fine. You know, it's like someone woke up from good side of the bed this morning. Oh, you notice? <laughs> yes. Well, the thing is, my friend Jane is having a morning birthday party, and we will be attending as a couple. Babe, calm down first, okay? Let me ask you something. You came to my office this morning just to tell me about a birthday party. On a Tuesday morning. Who does that? A birthday party on a Tuesday morning? Well, my girlfriend. Look, she just wants something out of the ordinary. It's more like a badge in one of her father's bar lounge. And then from there we head to the beach. From the beach we go to Golden Villa <laughs> to Mama calls. I jump on purse. It's just a birthday party. Yes, I know it's just a birthday party, but it can go along. Okay? I've already arranged my day, I have a schedule for the day. I can I can I can just I can just stand up and go for a birthday party. This is just past 10 a.m. in the morning. Tuesday morning for that matter. Even at that, I can't even spare my morning just for a birthday party. You know? Come on, I can do that, okay? My dear, as you can see, I'm so busy here, I can't do that, okay? I'm so sorry. I knew you were going to say that. For you? Anthony, how can you be so uncompromising? Why can't you just lose up at least for once? Chief Okadike. <laughs> Oh yes, I greet you. I know you are a great man, a volcano whose heat force is greater than thousands of furnaces. The Toscano that leaves rumbles in his wake. I greet you. You are a great man indeed. Oh yes, I know. Yes, uh, unfortunately, I will not be able to come. But I'm sending my son to represent me. And I'm sure he's capable of doing a good job. Yes, um, you know, my Ofala is uh, fast approaching. Yes, and that is why I cannot leave the palace right now. Yeah, I know, I know. That is why I want him to come, so that, uh, you know what I mean, you can have a quiet time with him. Oh, yes. Ah, come on. <laughs> you can trust me. Okadike himself. Odum Nebuagu. Yes. <laughs> My incoming governor. I trust you. 
Oh, yes. Don't worry. Don't worry. You got my in law. Nothing will shake that. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, please send me word to your beautiful queen, okay? All right. Bye. Huh. Okadi came off. Ah. Tonya, babe, what's up? I just feel bad. Like, after everything I've said to people. I understand. I, I know this is about Antonia's rigid attitude towards you. But listen, if there is anybody that is supposed to feel bad right here, it is me. Please, I don't want you to ruin my day. Please, I don't feel It's fine. It's fine. Everything is going to be alright, okay? Now, where is mine? No, I'm pretty smart. Very good. I'm going to go in there and act like nothing is going on. Okay? Babe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, everyone is looking for you. Okay, so I do. Yeah, let's call for such laughing section. You know. It does. Anyway, you're right. But you wouldn't blame me for laughing at loud. I, I mean. Who does a birthday party on a Tuesday morning like this? Who else if not Tonya and her group of friends? Those girls are something else. You mean Tonya and her friends? You can say that again. Um, Prince Anthony, you have been with this girl for God knows how long. I wonder why she still behaves the way she does. This is unlike you for God's sake. That girl is a couch head. Who only prefers the fun part of it? A perpetual fun seeker. Can you imagine? This girl asking me to go catch fun with her on a Tuesday morning. Who does that? Can you imagine? I can imagine it, Prince Anthony. Prince Anthony, what I cannot understand is you haven't been able to change this girl. This is unlike you, for God's sake. Change who? Tony. It's like you don't you don't know that girl. Her character is is a default. At this point, I don't think there's something else I can do. There is a lot for you to do, Prince Anthony. It's obvious you're fond of this girl. Judging from who you are, it's only one thing: love. I know you wouldn't want to accept it, but that is the truth. And what's your point? Change her. I know you can do that if you want to do it. It's evident that her father spoiled her as the only child. But you can do something if you want to do it. That girl loves you so much. Especially now that your preaching is making sense to her. Listen, pour out exactly how you feel to her and leave the magic to her. Just tell her how you feel. Everything will be fine. So, I want you to meet someone special. Bright, this is Tonya. Tonya, this is Bright. I'm going to leave you to. Tonya. Father, like I said before, Tony and I are cool. Nothing is wrong. Anthony, I know you understand what I mean, don't you? Mm. 
Now, let us dialogue. Father and Son, I am quite conversant with the fact that you are oblivious of my feelings towards your behavior in this matter. Right? Um, I have waited patiently for you to propose marriage to her, but you are not forthcoming. And I've been asking myself, what is responsible for this? But I've not been able to place a finger on it. Now tell me, is there anything about her that um, you are not quite comfortable with? Yes. A lot of them. A lot. You see, I like Sonia. Yes. Yes. I won't dispute the fact that I like her. I do. But you see, she's not the kind of woman I can settle for. But she's a fun freak. Yes, I won't disregard that. She loves a lot of things. She's not a bad person. I am not going to say that, uh, yes, because of that, and I'll call her a bad person. No. She does things on impulse, especially spending. This lady has no plans for herself. Not now, not tomorrow, not in the future. Huh. Let me ask you this, son. Do you think she loves you? <laughs> oh, yes, I, I believe so. Good. Um, and from the look of things, you equally love her. I mean, from what I'm saying. Perhaps uh, the things you enumerated are responsible for your doubt in her love for you. But you can change all that. Father, you see, it's very obvious that you don't even know Tonya. Oh. You don't know her at all. Hmm. That lady is fixed. Not even her father can change her. And that's the reason she left her father's mansion. But you can change all that. Except you don't believe in the power of love. How? Let me educate you, son. You see, when two people are in love, they can do things that ordinarily they wouldn't do just for the sake of love. I mean, Sonia is just 24. And you can mold her. Mold her to any shape you want. But I am not a sculptor anyway. Anthony, you can joke over this. But I'm not joking. Her father may not be able to influence her. But you can. Do you know why? You have the highest weapon to change her. And that weapon is love. I want you to go and think over what I've told you.
<laughs> Why are you laughing like a matter too much? Can you stop now? <laughs> okay, fine, fine, I'll stop. But she wouldn't blame me. <laughs> okay. To answer your previous question. Yes, I know you had eyes on me from the very first day our parents introduced us. Really? Yes. You were only playing hard to get for a reason best known to you. But I knew it won't last. Is that what you think? No. It's what I know. Okay, tell me. Don't you love me? Mm -hmm. I don't know for now. But I'd rather use the word like the stage playing with words I guess well it's common with the royals so I understand I've been meaning to ask why don't you like taking me to the palace we've made love countless times here but I wonder when it will happen at your place my father, the king, wouldn't let me be because of you. I cannot take you to the house and have anything with you uh, around because I wouldn't want to send the wrong signal to him. I wouldn't want that at all. A wrong signal? What's that? He wants us to get married immediately. And it's clear that you we've not gotten to that stage yet. I wouldn't know if you're ready to make a sacrifice for a relationship. Is that what you really think? Look, Anthony, I know I am stubborn. But you don't know what falling for you had made me do. Like things I would ordinarily not think of. You're clearly the one who is not ready to sacrifice for a relationship. Um, Prince Anthony, you have been with this girl for God knows how long. I wonder why she still behaves the way she does. This is unlike you, for God's sake. That girl is a couch head who only prefers the front part of it. A perpetual phone seeker. Can you imagine? This girl asking me to come catch phone with her on a Tuesday morning. Who does that? Can you imagine? I can imagine it, Prince Anthony. Prince Anthony, what I cannot understand is you haven't been able to change this girl. This is unlike you, for God's sake. Change who? Tony. It's like you don't you don't know that girl. Her character is. It's a default. At this point, I don't think there's something else I can do. There is a lot for me to do, Prince Anthony. It's obvious you're fond of this girl. Judging from who you are, it's only one thing. Love. I know you wouldn't want to accept it, but that is the truth. And what's your point? Change her. I know you can do that if you want to do it. It's evident that her father spoiled her as the only child. But you can do something if you want to do it. <sighs> Let me ask you this, son. Do you think she loves you? <laughs> oh, yes, I, I believe so. Good. Um, and from the look of things, you equally love her. I mean, from what I'm saying. Perhaps uh, the things you enumerated are responsible for your doubting her love for you. But you can change all that. Father, you see, it's very obvious that you don't even know Tonya. Oh. You don't know her at all. Mm. That lady is fixed. Not even her father can change her. 
And that's the reason she left her father's mansion. But you can change all that. Except you don't believe in the power of love. How? Let me educate you, son. You see, when two people are in love, they can do things that ordinarily they wouldn't do just for the sake of love. I mean, Sonia is just 24 and you can mold her. Mold her to any shape you want. But I am not a sculptor anyway. Anthony, you can joke over this, but I'm not joking. Her father may not be able to influence her, but you can. Me. Obviously. For how long have you been standing here? Well, um, long enough to notice that my son, my lovely son, the heir to my throne, the crown prince of Okwara Kingdom, is worried. Deeply in thought. But what I don't know is what is responsible. So what is it? Is it uh, work? No, Father. Work is fine. Hmm. Yeah. So what could it be? Ah. It must be about a woman, isn't it? Oh, Father, come on. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I knew it. And I'm sure that woman must be Tony. Look, son, if you need anything, any help, tell me. If you have any problem, tell me. I'll be able to solve it for you. Father, I thank you for your concern. I, I do appreciate. But I will be happy if you should allow me to do things my way. If you say so, uh, I will help you with that. It's okay, that. If you like. Right? Oh, I'm in love. The marriage stuff was just the easiest means for you to achieve this lifelong ambition. Jane, my father wants to use me as a bait to rid the royal family off their, their, their perch on the oil and gas ladder. This is the 
request that my father would speak to me in that chair. From then, I could feel the heat in his voice. I am being full of without me noticing it. He's getting reports on me and Prince Anthony on a daily basis. And he believes I am the reason why he has not proposed yet. Look, I want to love Prince Anthony because I am attracted to him. And also because of the splendor that is attached to royalty. I've been mates and guards at your beck and call. This is all new to me.
Um, Chrysanthemum, <coughs> you have to calm down. Just calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. It's all your fault. My fault? Yes. How is it my fault, Miss Anthony? <laughs> You're asking me, how is your fault? It's you, my father, all of you. I had my reservation with that girl, but my father will let me be. Even my best friend will sing the undying love about the same girl in my ears. Have you seen where it has landed me? Are you happy now? Oh, please stop, Prince Anthony. Stop it right this minute. Stop! It's bad enough that she's the cheat and her father, the manipulator, should be blamed for it, not me. You should be blamed for it. You, my father. You people made me to profess love towards her and also marriage. You caused it. How, Prince Anthony? Prince Anthony, you went there because you realized how deep your love is for her. You went there because for your quest and for high moral standard. So what are you talking about? Because of you and my father. What I'm trying to say is you and my father created the thought 